What's up everyone, it's Carlson Gaming here and welcome back. So, a lot of you on the Reddit forums were talking about all the weaknesses and pointing out all the bad things about my base. So, I've spent some time, I've looked at what needs improvement and I've actually added some new defences and improved a few things. So, I'm going to show you that now. But, first things first, do not pass go and do not collect $200. Okay guys, so most of you over on the Reddit forum said that my turrets are way too easy to take out. Uh, with them being, like see those two down there? The cables like just lying across the floor. That's basically what you were complaining about. So I've now got two new towers with two turrets on each one. There would have been three turrets, but I fear that if I put a turret in the middle, you, you might be able to three shot, uh, get one shot all three of them. With just one rocket. I think there might be splash damage or something. I don't really know. Somebody could probably tell me that down in the comments below. Or over on the Reddit forums. Either way. Um, yeah. So I've changed these. Uh, basically we've got these really tall towers now. There is a generator right at the bottom. With a cable going up to the top. With an outlet just one or two floors below this. And it powers these two turrets. Along with the one in that tower powers those two. There's almost 300 bullets in each one. This is 276 in that one. There's about 280 average in each of them. And all the other turrets in the base don't have that much. They only have 100, but we're still like struggling to make ammo at the moment because I can never be asked to go and make spark powder. Uh, we also do have this tower here. This is the third one. It hasn't been finished yet. It needs to be all stone. It needs the generator put in it, and it needs the turrets on the top. We haven't got enough pills or the electronics yet because our tribe is very lazy. Um, down here, as you can see, I've started another uh, tower there. There will be a generator in there eventually. But at the moment, it's just one whole little room. There's nothing to it, really. Uh, there will be another one expanding off of the back of this. I think I could probably bring that out one more to the left from where you're looking at it now. And up, and it will look over this wall. So, talking about the walls, um, as you can see there... <coughs> <coughs> Jeez, what, what the hell happened to my voice there? So, uh, as you can see, that they're all st uh, all metal right now. So they're a lot stronger, and they can only be destroyed by explosives now, not ballistas. Uh, I've also got a lot of metal spikes surrounded all of them, which is pretty cool. Um, it's not exactly invincible, but it's going to slow down whoever's attacking unless they're loaded with C4. Then I've got a serious problem. Uh, I'm quickly just going to show off our incubator. We recently set this up because um, eggs were dying way too quick. So, stupid Bronto breaking my pipes all the time. Mm, need to repair those. So we had five of these incubators here and my game's lagging. Stupid lag. Just stop, yeah? <laughs> so we got four of these incubators here. There was one on the f uh, a fifth one to the left. As you can see, there's a hole there. Uh, we actually incubated a raptor on there and it got stuck behind it behind the walls. We had to scrap the two to get it out. Because here's a gap here. We also had like four Delo eggs cooking up on these things. But my tribe mate let them die because, you know, they don't care. Just just so mean. Those poor baby raptors. Raptors. Poor baby Delos were just there jumping out their egg and dying with no food. So mean. Uh, we tamed the second Bronto. Uh, don't ask me why. I just came on and it was knocked out outside our base. <gasps> Whoa, look at that. Look at these two Bronto eggs stacked up on each other. This is amazing. Oh. Now we can probably get a saber. Saber calf. Let's get a saber. I don't know if sabers are any better than wolves. I think wolves kind of match them the same now. Or wolves may be better. I only want something for farming chitin. We also tamed this awesome Rex. Look at it. It was level 116 when we tamed it. We tamed it with just kibble and it went up to a hun level 170 something or 160 something, I can't remember. But it went up so much. It's 181 now and its stats are at 12k health, 600 melee damage. So I know that is like really, really bad. But trust me, that's going to get so much better. We'll probably be able to get the health on that to at least 30k. Well, we'll get the damage for 1k and everything else just goes straight into health. So... I wouldn't be surprised if it even reaches 50k health or even more. It goes up by 1,600 health every level. So every two levels it'll get in 3k health. Uh, I do apologise for all the lag I'm getting right now. And your baby raptor was killed. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Stop eating him. 
No! He was so young. He was so, so young. Just look at his poor little face. No. So we took a while, like, getting that. We had the incubated egg ready, and these wolves won't shut up. They're trying to eat it, but because it's too small, they can't reach it. Stupid dogs, shut up! No. Right, I'll ignore them. Um, yeah, we spent ages, like, looking after those. We had three before, they all died. Um, we're very lazy when it comes to the babies, because because they require like so much attention we really can't be asked for it so we just leave them there die um last time we had two wolves uh be born this was before the video this was after the video the baby wolf video i did the baby wolves are grown up now they're eating that raptor there um but we had two new baby wolves and because we, none of us were at base all the turrets started shooting at them and it was quite funny actually they just ran around everywhere at every single turret at the base started spraying them down because we didn't claim them uh also they've Buff the war drums now. They sound a lot louder. Listen. Whoa, look at that lag. Yeah, so the war drums are really cool now. They're a lot louder, so I can, like, play these awesome tunes, man. Yeah. Yeah. Now, that is absolutely maze balls. Um, my game is lagging again. God, stop it. Stop it, lag. Just not when I'm recording. Uh, 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 uh. Right, we're in the base again now. So, you know all the base defenses? They haven't been changed. If you saw my last base tour video, you would have seen what they were like. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Um, that was pretty much the defense over there. There's two new towers, the spiked walls, the metal walls. It took us about a week to get all the metal for that. We've now got a better way of getting metal. We have an Ankylo up on the volcano in his own little home. Uh, so I'm going to just end the video here because it's pretty much everything I need to talk about. So I just want to thank you guys for watching. I really, really do appreciate all the support, all the likes, all the comments, and all the videos. I really do appreciate it. Um, it means a lot to me. So, guys, thank you all for that. And guys, before I do go, I need to quickly mention something. I keep saying guys, 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 like all the time. It's starting to annoy me now. Um, I am going on holiday tomorrow. I'll put up a video tomorrow. Like, it'll be when I'm gone, but it'll tell you all the dates I'm coming back. What, uh, what, when I'll start uploading when I come back and everything that you need to know when I'm going to be gone. So you can probably stay tuned for the next upcoming videos that'll be after that week. But I will definitely be back. I'm loving YouTube right now. And all the support you guys give me is just means so much. So guys, I just want to thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Dollars, man. Dollars. Just don't collect the dollars.